Oh, good. I am Vambazine James, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. The Bullseye Challenge is back with James Van Bazine of Belgium. Plenty of bees no in there, score. and hopefully plenty of bullseyes in this one. As James is motoring around the hockey. Not necessarily his strong pace. He's very deliberate when he's playing 5 -oh one One. But in this challenge, you've only got 60 seconds, so... Got a motor around that seven foot nine and a quarter inch hockey. One point for One. a 25 and nothing for a ball. Well, nothing for a ball, especially when you don't hit it. But if you do hit it, you do get two points. Got to try and get past that one. This is better. Two. But four points to this point is not good. Got to try and get to at least double figures to be respectable. And he might One. not get there. Only 10 seconds to go. This might be his last throw. But it might be his best. Four. The total score from James Van Bazin was eight. Check, we do it again. It was nine. <laughs> Sorry. A little bit to the left there, uh, yeah. Ready? Hi, I'm Ted Evitz, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Three. And everything's on the green to start for Super Ted. He is someone who can quicken up his rhythm if needs be. Deliberate, usually. Two. But at the minute, with only 60 seconds on this challenge, he's being a little bit quicker, which might aid him. This is very accurate. Hasn't Two. got a bullseye yet, but he's getting plenty of points every visit. And there are plenty of visits as well. That's not the ideal first start. However, that is the ideal second. Two. He's averaging what feels like two points every visit. This is not a bad effort from Ted. One. But he's starting to miss as the clock ticks away. He might have one more visit two. after this if he's quick. Come on, Super Ted. One. The total score from Ted Evans was 13. Good morning. I'm Andy Hamilton, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. It's another Bullseye Challenge, and this time it's the turn of Andrew Hamilton. That's what his mum would call him. Two. And maybe when he's being told off, but... I'm not going to tell him off. He's bigger than I am. But he is one of those players who takes his time on most darts. No score. He does have this third dart when he plays usual 5 or one that he just chucks away. However, you can see that deliberate nature. It means that every visit has got to be good to have a good score here after 60 seconds. Two. Only four points to now. And the clock is ticking away. He's only got 20 seconds to go. Sounds familiar. That's it. Can he get three in there? The answer is no. Two. In fact, that's the only one he gets. It might just be one more visit. That's got to be it. One. The total score from Andy Hamilton was seven. Hi, I'm Fallon Sherrick, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. The glasses are on, and the focus is here for the Bullseye Challenge for the Queen of the Palace. No score. Not the best start, but I'm sure it's about to get better. She's not messing around, that's what? for sure. This is an interesting approach. Two. I kind of like it. Scuttling around that hockey like her dog Squirtle. That's no lie. Her dog One. is called Squirtle. Big Pokemon fan is Fallon Sherrick. Got to find them all in relation to the bullseyes, not the Pokemon. Uh, oh, no it's score. not going according to plan. Oh, no. There's no time left. There's only 12 seconds to go. Two. It's better but it's not good enough. 
to get to double figures, potentially. It's going to have to be good from here. No score. The answer. <laughs> the answer is no. What's the score? Only six. No, was it six? Okay. <laughs> nice fun. <laughs> Do you have that in a shot or not? Do you have that in a shot? Maybe on five or six. Yeah, you have it? Good. Sorry, Fel. The total score from Fel and Sherrick was six. Hello, my name is Darius Labanauskas. This is my bull challenge. Banzai! Game on. Darius Labanauskas is not a dart player. He is a lifestyle. One. The infamous words spoken by another darts commentator. But... He's right. Darius is a lifestyle. Four. And he's in Portsmouth this week, doing the bullseye challenge for the first time. And this is the fastest I've ever seen Darius play darts. Two. What did he just say at the start of that introduction? Banzai! One. It's not bad to this point. He's scuttling around this hockey, however. The accuracy is... Tepid at this point. Two. It's starting to warm up a little bit. He is in double figures, which is respectable. Now, two. It's 12 points. On, Last shot. Come on, Darius. No score. No, it was too, it was too late, Darius. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? The total score from Darius Labanauskas was 12. Hello, I'm Dan Asprey, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. I have a sneaky feeling this bullseye challenge might suit Dan Asprey. Two. Because he doesn't mess around. Very relaxed character. And his first chance at getting a decent number Two. in this challenge. 60 seconds. Even at this early stage, it's going to be an uphill task to get anywhere close to some of the best totals Four. we've had, but that will help. That's exactly what you've got to do, and that will help any total. Four points for those two bullseyes alone. No score. However, his average per visit has just come down a bit, with no points in that one. This is decent. Three. That's what you've got to get every visit if you're going to get towards the top of the table, but with only 10 seconds left... It's been decent here from Dan. Three. In fact, I'm going to say it's better than decent now. This is a good total. No score. Too late. Unlucky. And a flight. The total score from Dan Asbury was 14. He's number one at the moment. No disrespectful, guys, but I have a good tactics to play this. Don't let James start, because otherwise you lose 45 seconds. No, I'm joking, James. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. But, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Bullseye Challenge from Series 7, Week 10, Group A. Game on. Game on. 90 seconds for the team to see what they can do Two. as a collective. And things are already motoring, aren't they? Henry Dickens with me for this one. Three. This isn't a bad start. Well, there was perhaps a perceived question about pace before this particular challenge began, Three. but there's no question about that, and there's no question about the quality so far either. The record score as far as this particular challenge is concerned Three. is 32. Dark player's favourite number. 32, Two. usually. Two. Come on, James. See what you can get to finish the first round. Now, I've spoken to a couple of people about this. If you drop a dart, just don't throw it. Get out of the way, because you're wasting time. I can imagine Mervyn King no saying score. that very well. Get out of the way. Oh, this is good from Darius. Four. He's contributed quite a few in this challenge already. Ted Evitz has thanked him for that. 
He was doing a Three. mashed potato dance in the start of this one, wasn't he? Mm. Two. What do you put in your mashed potato? Depends what mood I'm in. Right now, I want bullseyes in my mashed potato. Uh, no. No score. Oh, nothing from Fallon. Only 10 seconds to go. It might be. Last One. person is Dan Asprey. Well, it promised so much, but it's in One. the end, That's it. you did a mid-table <laughs> score. <laughs> so, Dan, how much you think you did? How, what is the total score of the group? 30. 30? Ooh. James? 28. 28. Is he close or not? We'll see. Fallon? 18. No, it's more than that, I think. Ted? 24. 24. Darius? 15. 15. Andy? 21. 21. Who's the closest? The correct answer is 26. Well done, guys. Well done. They deserve a round of applause. Well done. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything, and I'll see you in a bit. Thank you very much. Oh, that was amazing. Did everybody enjoy themselves? Good. I did. Oh, Fallon? No. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name's Justin Hood, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. Bullseye Challenge for Justin Hood at the moment. If this was a Three. Chinese food challenge, I'm sure he'd win that. So the motivation for you here, Happy Feet, is if you get more than 22 or 23 points here, I'll buy you a One. Chinese. How about that? You can't hear me, though, Henry. Well, he got 19 the last time he was here, but he... Doesn't look like he's going to be going to those sorts of scales unless Two. he starts hitting the red bit as opposed to the green bit. Those feet have got to get a bit more chirpy. One. One is not good enough. No balls at the minute for Justin. He has someone who's got different rhythms Two. with his game and he has to wait until maybe the last 10 seconds for him to find his first bullseye. Well, it was a Two. challenge with big expectations. One visit left for him. It get the sense that it's just going to be an attempt that peters out for Justin Hood. One. The final score from Justin Hood was 12. Hello, I'm Johnny Haynes, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. What a great start to a Bullseye Challenge for S.M. Punk. Three. Yeah, Swindon made punk. So here we go then, dressed in green and black today and looking for the red and the green in this 60 second bullseye challenge. One. It started well, but since then it has somewhat gone a bit tepid. Come on, Johnny, you know you can do this. It's the color of your flights. That's what you want. Four. That's more like what you want. Bit of a story about. Johnny starts. Uh, the same set that he's pretty much had throughout the course of his career. He's had for about 25, 30 years. He still chalks them up. Very One. feather weight as well. One of the lightest darts you'll see here at the Super Series. That's an interesting way of describing someone's darts in a boxing weight. Well, seconds are almost Three. out. It's not a bad attempt. Four seconds, Johnny. Come but on. he's only got one more shot left. No score. The final score from Johnny Haynes was 12. Hi, my name's Terry Nash, and this is Bullseye, Bullseye Challenge. Game on. So it's Terry Nash's go at the Bullseye Challenge. He'll be hoping to get his teeth stuck into Three. this one. How long have you been waiting to say that? Ooh, how good is this? Five. Nashy, I like your style. Keep on gnashing. He's got the bit between his teeth, hasn't he? Two. We've got two of them out the way in 30 seconds. Two more puns by the end of this one from Henry. And Terry will be done. Four. He has got a bit of bite, hasn't he? But just needs to speed it up. This has been very, very good from Terry two. Nash. He hasn't got long to go. About 15 seconds to go. He might get close to 20 here. 
two. This is an incredible attempt. This is one of the best we've seen for quite a while in terms of the bullseye hitting. Three. What an attempt. 21 all told. The final score from Terry Ness was 21. Top of the leaderboard. Well done, Terry. Well done. And thank you very much. This is week 10, Group C, the Bullseye Challenge. Bold edition. Game on. Well, if this is the bold edition of the Bullseye Challenge, no as score. a team here in Group C in week 10, well, I suppose next week we're going to have to get everybody with long hair. One. But this is a tough challenge. 90 seconds, two points for a bullseye, and one no for a score. 25. You want to get yourself above 20 points, don't you? You do, but I just get the sense that there's a little bit of rushing so far. Three. That's a bit better from Andy. As they all make their way round like a Henry Ford assembly line. I think tomorrow what these players should do Two. is all turn up in a Simon Whitlock wig to put it to Marco Meyer. Two. Look uh, at Marco one. with that beautiful new haircut of his. <laughs> oh, come on, Terry. Just like your individual challenge. Four. He was the master of it this morning. And he's the one propping up this effort with two of the three two. bullseyes found. Come on, James. You've been here before. Two. Two? Is that enough? It can't be long to go. Maybe 20 seconds-ish. It's got to be a sprint finish from here. That first dart was perfect Three. for Andy. He'd be disappointed more didn't follow up. Not long. Maybe two more visits. They've got to 20. Four. They're above 20. It's up to Happy Feet to full stop this effort. And bounce outs ain't going to help. Two. And that is that. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. The Week 10 Group C Bullseye Challenge, Bolt Edition, total score was 24. Hey, Thank you very much, gentlemen. Hey, You know what to do. I'm Shane McGurk, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Hello, I'm Shane McGurk, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. Come on, Shane, you've got 60 seconds to do your best at this one. I know you're going to get something in the region of 15-plus points. We've got all the faith in the world for you. Come on, Shane. 25s will be... Oh, you can't drop your dart. Is that, that's not going to count, surely. No, it doesn't count. No, I'm sorry, mate. Oh, never mind. Was a bullseye, but not a bullseye. One. Got to stick to the rules. 525. So that's five points. That's the halfway point. One. Have you ever seen Arrow flexing his legs on the hockey as quickly as this? Three. Can't help but get 25s. Is he going to get any bullseyes legitimately? He's not going to get past those two. Oh, Four. Well, there you go. He can. He's got 10 seconds left. He's into double figures. It's a decent total. Two. The final score from Shane McGurk was 15. It's not bad. It's all right, is it? No, not an Irish accent. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, uh, I'm going to try it one time. The total score from Shane McGurk was 15. Hello, I'm Richie Harrison, and this is my bullseye challenge. Game on. But what do you know? It's Richie Harrison on a bullseye challenge, isn't it? Two. Yeah, there we go. The owl. Woo! You've got to give him the sound effects when he's on the hockey. This is a seniors darts legend. He's nowhere near finished yet. He's a good painter. He's a good snooker player, but he's an even better darter. I didn't know owls could run. Actually, they can. If you scroll on YouTube, you can find owls running around. But are they looking for bullseyes? Two. Probably not. But Richie Housen is halfway through his bullseye challenge here. Five points in the bag. Inching closer to double figures. Three. That's eight. Needs two more 25s to get to double figures. 
Or one. one bullseye. Not long left. Seven seconds. Maybe this is his last visit. Got to make it count, Richie. Three. The final score from Richie Housen was 12. He's not happy. Not happy at all. Hi, I'm Ross Montgomery, and this is my Bullseye Challenge. Game on. Well, if you think I'm going to commentate in Scottish, you're just going to have to think again. What Four. a great start from Ross Montgomery. Keep it there, Ross, or you'll have to get to the practice room. Two. A legendary Scottish player going for lots of bullseyes. Had the ideal start with two bulls to start, but since then, it's gone a bit awry. No score. It's almost like he's 500 miles away from the bullseye. First start's got to be better. But they're not finding the target. One. Only 20 seconds to go. And he's only got seven points so far. He might not make double figures. Is it back to the practice One. room for Ross? Bragging rights are on the line. Are you the boss of the bull? One. The total score from Ross Montgomery was nine. Is this okay or? Oh, can you come a little bit to here, please? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go? This is stage seven, week 10. Group, what is it? Group, what is, sorry, we do it again. Oh, is it group B? Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. This is stage seven, week 10, group B, the bullseye challenge. Game on. Welcome to the team bullseye challenge. This is Three. series seven, week 10, group B, and this is not the bald edition. Four. This is the anything but bald edition. What a contrast from group C. One. They are hammering the bullseye and hammering the boards as well because they are skipping around the hockey. Two. What has the queen of the palace got? Not even going to aim. Just going to have a crack at it. Three. It's good. If you can average three per visit, you will do very, very well. One. But Ted only comes up with one. Come on, Shane. Three. He gets three as well. Now for the owl. Woo! Three. See, it works. Make a sound effect for each person. Get to the ball. If you can. One. <laughs> and what do you do for Buckinghamshire? I haven't got a clue. Come on, Fallon. Three. 24 seconds left. Not to be... Confused with double 12. This is better, Ted. Four. Super Ted. Two. This is a good effort. Really, really good. You wouldn't think it from these two darts from no Richie score. House. And he hates that visit. They've got no time. Five seconds. This is the last one. Come on, Ross. Brilliant. Four. Well, this was Usain Bolt. This is unbelievable. This is. Um, oh yeah, can we please stand here? And I'm going to ask you how much you think you did with the group. So give me all one number. And we asked for the group, Shane. So the closest one. I don't know what the first prize is, but so we did one and a half minutes of bullseyes. How many think you had? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. 23. 23. 22. 22. Oh, it's close. 29. 29. And Ted? 33. 33. What was the actual number? Ted's was the closest. It's 34. Oh. It's a record. So well done. <laughs> well done. Well done. It was an absolute pleasure. Well done, everyone. Ross, I take ya.
Was it good? Was it good? Thank you.